guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back, and I do appreciate the support. You know, nowadays, guys, there's no uh, limit to the stupid stuff that a lot of young kids, mainly teens, get themselves into. Now, if you have teenage boys, they're going to do stuff that get them in trouble, whether it's in the house or out the house, and sometimes it require a parent to come and you know, answer questions or try to get them out of it. And, you know, it's different levels to that. But what I'm about to show you today is one of the stupidest things I've ever seen. And this 15 year old boy in this story is lucky he's not my son because I ought to beat him like he stole something. Now, check this out. This story right here and happy Monday to you, by the way. This story comes out of Memphis, Tennessee. Shout out Memphis. You know, I got to do that when the stories come out of uh, Memphis. And, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, this 15-year-old boy who's not named, now this happened yesterday, which was Sunday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, was in a car that was linked to a robbery. Police pulled the car over. You know what? Just look at this video. This would have ran any parent that's concerned about the welfare of their children hot. This boy is stupider than stupid. Look. A breaking news update tops your news leader at 10 o'clock after a Memphis police squad car is stolen, leading, a leading to a chase in Frazier. Good evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm Shay Arthur. Tonight, a grandmother now has a message for one of the suspects she says was involved in the incident. WRG's Alan Self has the details on this dramatic situation. Around 2 Sunday afternoon, Memphis police say officers initiated a traffic stop on a car they say was involved in a robbery in the area of Hollywood and James Road. Police say one suspect was detained. The second commandeered a Memphis police car. Fort Louis Vazi took the squad car. Squad car was taken. It's a M1 lock. All right, you just blew past the light still southbound uh, coming up on Fraser. The stolen squad car led to a pursuit that ended when a suspect stopped at his grandmother's house for help. We just had a normal day, just sitting around watching the game, and we heard a knock on the door, and then one of my grandboys trying to get in, running from the police. The shaken grandmother, wishing to remain anonymous, shared her grandson's forensic plea as she says he rushed to her door with police on his heels. Help, Grandma, help. I couldn't get to the door fast enough to say anything. Because by that time, the police had, were chasing around the house and slamming him down on the ground. Bystanders say officers swiftly detained a teenager at Mountain Terrence near James Road. I seen all the police cars right here, so I'm trying to turn in the street. And the officer telling me I can't come here. And Mr. Chaos, 60-year-old Willie Mickens says police physically harassed him due to mistaken identity. He jacked me all up by my pants and snatched me out the car. Megan says police followed him and detained him at a nearby gas station, saying he fit that description of the teenage suspects. But they told me I was, uh, might be an investigation going on. That was, they say young guy. I do here now. I don't know nothing about no young guy. And why would you jack me up in my seat of my pants in front of everybody? That I, uh, make me look like I'm a criminal in front of everybody. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. And he never said, I'm sorry you the wrong guy or nothing. You know what I'm saying? But this a rap, he just jacked me all up in my pants like that. In front of everybody. Everybody look at me laughing. Police say the investigation continues with no officer injured and no vehicles damaged. Back on the scene of the arrest, the grandmother has a stern message for her 15-year-old grandson. Remember what we taught you. When you do something, illegal bad is consequence behind it. For your news leader in Frazier, I'm Alan Self, WREG News Channel 3. A hectic situation there, and we reached out to Memphis Police about Mr. Mickens' claim to see if they had any comment. We'll let you know when we hear back. As you've seen it, boy in the car linked to a robbery. Whether he was connected to the robbery or not, he was in the car with some other teenage boy, some other fool, caught up in some mess. Police pull him over. What do we do? Jump out the car. I can't get caught. Jump in the police car, zoom the grandmoms, knock on the door. Grandma, grandma, help. Cops right on his heels. She, grandma, I'm old. She said, I couldn't get up fast enough to open the door to see what was going on. They chasing him around the house before they threw him on his face. 
On top of that, 60 year old man, they run down on him like he one of the teenagers. I don't know if cops is just stupid a lot of times or they don't listen to the directions or the description of the suspect. I done had been walking down the street minding my business and cops and ran up on me like that, threw me on the ground, handcuffed me, had the wrong person. How does a 60 year old man description fit that of a teenager? Make it make sense. They ain't even say sorry to him. That's another thing. People that do some crazy stuff to you and then not apologize, even though they know they was wrong. I know you heated, caught up in the heat of the moment of the chase, but come on, man. You see that man was visibly upset. The cops were still back there. Ain't nobody apologized to him or not. But then again, that's not what this story's about, and it's messed up that that happened to that brother. That's, that's, that's sad. I want you to think. When we were younger, a lot of us that had fathers in the home, we knew not to cut up. And if we did any type of crazy stuff, we knew not to bring them problems to the house because you don't want to get caught. Now, evidently, he ran because he didn't want to get caught and he don't want his people, whoever they are, to know that he out there getting in trouble. So the risk was to take the police car and run off. And where did he run? Straight to grandma's house. You're a criminal in the street. You're a tough guy in the street. And then you run into your mama or your grandmama's house or whatever after this over with. This is stupid. It's stupid. He made his problems in the street somebody else's problems at their house. I don't know if he lived there or not. Don't even care. But anything could have happened. That woman old. You seen she was old. Don't know if she had any problems with her heart or anything like that. Anything could have happened. Him knocking on the door like a maniac could have made her jump up and think something was wrong with him. She run, have a heart attack. I mean, we're going far off on the uh, spectrum of what could happen. But the thing is this. Older people don't need drama in their lives. And these young kids nowadays go and do stuff. And then all of a sudden, an older person that been talking to them because you heard what she said. There are consequences in what you do out there in the street. So don't do nothing. He didn't listen. Now he made his problem. They problem. Lady come to the door. Got to see her grandson getting fucked up by police outside. It's crazy. Neighbors looking and stuff. Public embarrassment. Kids only think about themselves when they do out there doing the dumb stuff that they do. This is buck wild. <sighs> when I was in Memphis, I told you guys this. It was a couple of weeks ago. I seen he had to be, I, I'm saying 10 year old kid. He had to be at least at, at the most 10. He could barely see, like, you know, you go, you could see, he could barely see, he was driving like this, but he was going like 40, 50 miles an hour up a street where the speed limit was 30. And he was just weaving in and out cars laughing. He had a bunch of kids in the back of the car behind him. Now, the car was ragged. He didn't have no tags on it. But I said, you know, what the hell is going on here? For some reason, this quest to drive and be behind the wheel in these younger people is something that it's a thirst that they have to quench whether they get in trouble or not. What is this sudden thing with driving a car? Don't make you an adult. Don't make you an adult. Fact is dangerous because if you hit somebody like they always do, what do they do? Jump out the car and run away. They need to put a stop to this. And I said this boy was in a car linked to a robbery. Now we don't know if he had anything, but I mean just the trouble of that. Whether he's caught by the police or caught by the people that he robbed. See what I'm saying? Not everybody's going to go to the police to settle their scores. We see that in the street. What if he was in the car and whoever he robbed or whatever seen them in the car and shot the car up and killed him? This would have been a totally different story. And he'd have looked like a victim, like, oh, he didn't do nothing. Oh, that's sad that somebody got, we got to take into consideration. There's a lot of stuff people do in the dark that comes out in the light, whether it's after the crime or leading up to the crime. This dude right here took a police car and ran to his grandma's house with the police car like they wasn't going to catch him. When you ran in your grandma's house, what you think she was going to do? Stop the police. I don't know what it is with the, a lot of these younger people now that are doing crimes. They think their mom or their grandma or whatever feminine force is around them in 
the present time and them doing a crime is going to stop law and order from apprehending them. Make it make sense. How many times we see people on the phone when they do something with the, with uh, uh, at a police stop, the police run up on them. First thing they do, they get on the phone. I'm on the phone, my mama, 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 they gonna get me, mama. Uh, cut it out, cut it out, cut it out. Where's the male role models in his life? Where's his father? But then again, hell, you could have a good dad and be a badass kid nowadays. We don't even know no more. The draw, the temptation to the streets is real. And it's increasing every day. There are a lot of people out here that are good kids, but they want validation and to be accepted by their peers. So they appear to be bad kids or they try to go that route to be accepted by a bunch of losers that ain't going nowhere in life. It's hard to explain that to young children when you're not their age and they feel as though you don't know everything. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. T uh, take care. The dumb get dumber and the rich get richer, meaning every time somebody plays themselves out and run themselves in jail or in prison, somebody's making green that ain't got no criminal record, ain't got a dog in the fight, and is sitting back and collecting money off of your stupid ass. Thanks for listening. Yeah, and one more thing. You ever notice there's a ripple effect with a positive or negative action that somebody does and how the, the, everybody else gets caught in the waves? I want you to think about something. This guy, this kid, doing this knucklehead mess. Not only is it embarrassing that he's running to his grandma's house, he's bringing the crime scene and the drama there. They was having a normal day. She was watching the game. To be interrupted with this, this guy brought not only the drama to the house, but he brought shame and embarrassment as well. I want you to think about that. This guy brought the crime scene to his grandmom's house. Other people got caught up in the madness. The 60-year-old dude, he ain't have nothing to do with it. But when you running from the police and all this stuff, you bring in all of that wave of dumb shit with you and other people get caught up in the madness. Thanks for listening.